Here's the spot where I realized I should have never cut my bed. But I did until after I realized that I didn't even need to do it. So if any of y'all decide to do this, don't cut your bed.
all the must of the holes drilled. Okay, so apparently cutting this right in here. Let me get the light. So apparently cutting this out for the for the wheel wells, it ain't gonna work. But I'm gonna fabricate this flare in which I drilled holes here and a hole there where it's sitting in place right now. So let's get a view of what it's gonna look like so far. Got to do some trimming and some bolt placement. It's already kind of started back here. I just got to trim up there. Once we get it prepped and ready, then we'll sand it, paint it to match. Hopefully, first thing in the morning, we'll get a good look at what it looks like with the flares on it. This right here is our template. Used to get my edge underneath here. <clears throat>
I think that was just <laughs> from uh, when I first started. So, realizing my stake is I should have never cut the bed. Should have drilled the holes, mounted it first, and then mm -hmm. worked it in. Which, I mean, it's fine. I can fill it. Fill it in if I have to. It'll we'll get it looking better. Okay. Never seen this done for 2011. So, kind of figuring it out as we go. Because I ain't no body shop guy.
Well, it's always good to have an extra set of hands because at this moment, this fender flare drops and hits me right in the head.